Hello and welcome to me Beef Eaters Invitational Jew Build for June 21 and this time it's Cyberpunk and these are the two castings I'll be vandalising for me efforts and there are a pair of our Hot Wheels castings one's an helicopter sky knife and the other one's god knows what it's just one of the futuristic casting things not even bothered looking on the base to be honest I've just done a quick thing because cyberpunk isn't really me forte and here we're sewing off the undercarriage off the helicopter I used three blades because I didn't have the same sensation. I was using my left hand, and my left hand's a bit spazzy to begin with. Well, let's be honest, it's a lot spazzy. Half the time, you wouldn't have a full cup of whatever you give me left, and you wouldn't be drinking it. I used three blades on this one. Don't fully see it here, but I do. And at this point, in a minute, I also sawed one of my fingers and drew blood. You don't see that either. But it was always going to happen. Look at what I'm doing. Why don't I think these things through? If any HSE executives are watching, ignore it, it's totally at my own risk. Do what I do, only if you're an idiot. And there I was trying to take the landing gear wheel out and it just won't come out no matter how hard I pulled with plier. Yeah, I used a modelling knife and cut down into it and it dropped inside within two seconds. And go figure. Here I'm taking the last bit of the piling off the top. And at this point, the two were bonded together. I super glued them and spread some zip kicker on it. There's a zip kicker going on. <laughs> and also at one point, it got the one of the jet engines off the flying bug on top. There, I'm just putting extra super glue on to hold it. I had an incomplete trashed matchbox flying bug, so it acquired the engine. Here, I'm spraying gloss black. You can't see half of it, it were off screen. I'm spraying it into gloss black ready for the next step which if you haven't guessed it already I actually used some colour shifters paint and anyway here's my development of the RAF's idea for urban combat 
after the British Civil War in 2027 it all kicked off over race they just couldn't agree on anything and they needed an urban vehicle that also added a flying drone to it so this were developed to fight the wars on the streets and the sky knife project was evolved into the sky sky saber drawn and it was carried on the high speed interception vehicle it was ideal for fighting in urban areas the vehicle could just get on there on the streets without it being spotted in the air thus having the element of surprise and it could go in with lasers it also had a guns capability and missiles it was all tucked in for stealth because smart axes they had they developed radar capab capabilities for the mobile phones so it was essential to have a ground vehicle that couldn't be seen by radar and the lines go together perfectly fits lovely it was a beautiful looking machine and there we go It even, it even acquired some futuristic nose art that also had historic connections to the Gulf Wars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care out there if you've enjoyed. Please subscribe. I notice there's a hell of a lot watch and don't subscribe. If you could, that'd be excellent. It's just a push of a button. Anyway, thanks for now and see you later.